tell me, you and your wife, do you have any children? Are you kidding? I won't even drink her coffee. Meet Irv Benson. For more than half a century, Irv was a first comic, the featured comedian on stage in theaters, nightclubs, showrooms, and television. Stop ribbing me. I've been a successful comedian half my life. How come we got this half? I mean... <laughs> now at age 100, he's become something rare, a living link to a uniquely American art form. It's a BAA button, Burlesque Artists Association. And I think I'm the only, well, I'm the only comic left. I'm the only comic left. What was burlesque? Where did it come from? Where did it go? And what did it mean to a generation of comic performers? My schooling came from burlesque. That's the greatest proving around the world. Uncover America's comedy roots and explore a dynamic chapter in the history of its popular entertainment. Backed by theater historians and supported by a cast of fellow surviving burlesque performers, Irv gives the inside story about a colorful and largely forgotten branch of show business. Listen, smart guy, I want you to know I've got a million jokes in the back of my head. How come they never reach your mouth? Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Johnny and I loved him. Come along with Irv Benson as he returns one last time to the biggest of the big-time vaudeville houses, New York's Palace Theater. Never forget World War II. Would you believe that an Italian girl hid me in a cellar for two years? Two years? Where were you? In Cleveland. The last first comic is a humorous and heartfelt story of a bygone era. It's a celebration of a life well lived, both on stage and off. You know the old joke, 70 years with the same woman, if my wife ever finds out, she'll kill me. 